who I am. <laughs> My name's Julian Langworthy. You, yeah. You've only known me for 23 years, Pat. Um, I'm winemaker in Margaret River. Yeah. yeah, I was born at Margaret River Hospital, which is when no one was ever born back then, but um, yeah. it makes me a very rare beast. I'm actually a Margaret River local. Uh, my old man loved wine always, um, and I always kind of loved it as well. And it was kind of weird, it was kind of a bit of an epiphany, you know. I could, I could actually be a winemaker, that suits me. I love wine and I uh, love the country and, um, and making something. You know, the thing about winemaking is you create something each year which is unique and special and you get to share it with people, which is pretty cool. It's pretty visceral and real, you know. So it's... Oh, it was tiny. Yeah, it was minute. West Australian wine industry is only 50. Well, that's not true. Mug River wine industry is only 50 years old. Uh, look, it only excels in certain places in the world. So Cabernet is the largest planted grape variety in the whole world, which makes no sense whatsoever because it's, um, it's only in a few regions in the world where it like, reaches its peaks. And even in those regions, it's at a few sites within those regions that really like make it sing. Yeah. And so it's that sort of quicksilver nature of hunting for perfection, which if you're really trying to do anything in your, in your craft or what you're um, hopefully put on this earth to kind of do is what you're trying to achieve. So Mug River Cabernet, I think, can be the world's best wine and that's what we're trying to do. Yeah. Well, the, with Cabernet in particular, um, it's just really about great fruit and great sights. Um, all you can really do as a winemaker is kind of frame it. Yeah. Like, you know, it's easy to put your stamp on it and like lose the charm and the beauty of the vineyard that it's from. And so when you've got a great sight, um, the art behind it all is basically how do you frame that? How much time does it have on skins? How much um, oak do you use? How long does it spend in oak? When do you put the bottle? When do you release it? Like that's all you're doing is framing like a year that was in a beautiful site, um, which is unique and kind of cool. No, so, like, purchased it, um, admired it, long time admirer, yeah. um, and uh, managed to purchase it um, in 2016, I guess, 2015. Um, and Why this, you like this stuff? Well, it's just unique, you know, like um, it's a south facing slope over granite um, with loose shaly gravel over the top. It's quite um cool and this has a really distinct personality and, and cool vibe and just down the road from um some of those greatest surf beaches on earth and and just just kind of resonated you know i've tried the wines from the vineyard before we would bought the fruit in the past and the guys that owned it weren't really probably maximizing the potential and there's lots of potential there so i managed to purchase it um improved the viticulture did some different things and uh, getting some lovely cool wines out of there um so for this one in particular, um, the Cabernet Malbec we put together from 2019, we had like some just beautiful expressive like um, violets and, and cassis kind of barrels that I, know, I just grabbed an individual barrel which looked particularly good. And um, I love Malbec, it's the other great grape variety from Margaret River um, and had a really good parcel of old vine Malbec that I get to blend a little bit through this wine and it just made a different unique statement um, of Mug River Cabernet and so it's really pertinent like if I was going to do a wine for you guys it couldn't just be a you know like a chuck together sort of thing to do it needed to have some sort of message about you know the region what we do as winemakers and and hopefully what you guys are looking for for the interesting cool bespoke wine that like speaks to people about its uniqueness and it's kind of and it's kind of verve and cool so it worked out particularly opportunistically because 19 is a lovely vintage um it's expressive it's lovely it's poppy and the malbecs from that year were just beautiful and it sort of come together into a just a really quite unique beautiful wine <laughs> um might be might be it's a bit of a pain in the ass in the water yeah. truth be told <laughs> expensive shit to make um, but look that doesn't matter it's all about um, something that's expressive and epic and and kind of lots of fun so yeah it's cool the Tommy's obviously a massive fan of um, Mug River and Cabernet Malbec and so that was where the sort of idea was born and and then we just had a lovely time and place and opportunity to put something cool together